if you don't succeed, try, try again. That is an unspoken motto for a group of students at RB Stahl High School who are involved in a special project, a first-of-a-kind project sponsored by NASA. English to speakers of other languages students are part of a team that will launch a weather balloon on the date of the total solar eclipse on August 21st, the first time since 1992 a total solar eclipse event will cross North America coast to coast. I really enjoyed um, the, just the, everything in the project uh, from computers to the balloon. Everything has been a wonderful experience and I've learned a lot through the process. Maria Royal is the main reason the students at Stahl have this opportunity. The ESOL teacher is also a certified science teacher and made a lasting impression when she worked on her master's degree at the College of Charleston. A few of her professors who have ties to NASA knew she was the right person to lead a high school team from Charleston County School District. I don't know of another program like this and I don't think this is common even in our school districts where we have an ESOL teacher that is knowledgeable and has the scientific and engineering background like Maria does. She's teaching them science and technology while they're learning English. What better way to learn English? She's a perfect candidate. So we talked to her, didn't have to twist her arm at all, and now we're working together. It's great. Dedication has been one of the biggest things. Um, we have had long hours, very long hours. Mm -hmm. It has been brutal, um, but it has been well worth it. To get the project started, a few students, including Norman Baez, went to Montana State University in Montana last summer. They were the only two high schoolers in a conference full of experts from the world of science. I was overwhelmed and I was freaking out because I wasn't used to the, you know, the uh, professional level of everything and, and I was really nervous so I panicked a little bit. But it takes a minute I pull, I pulled through everything and I, make, I made it through and came out successful. The project picked up steam when the school year started and word got out into the community. In fact, a stall grad working at Spaywar was so impressed, she signed on to support the students. Basically what I do is I troubleshoot, make sure the launch goes well. I'm here to help out in case they have any issues, any questions, anything with technology. I'm there sort of as a, a backup kind of professional to help out. Stahl used to be known as one of those problematic schools and now it's grown so much to see all these students, well now they're going into these NASA funded programs and being able to show off everything that Stahl has to do, I'm, I'm really proud of the school to be honest and it makes me feel proud that I went here and I can come back to help. It's an amazing experience for them, for them as individuals, as their learning experiences. Um, it's an amazing experience for the community to see that anything is possible. One of the major highlights in the project so far was a tethered test launch at the school last month in front of hundreds of fellow students. Well, I was really nervous because of the winds. Today were really harsh, as you might have seen, they were, the balloon kept going down. But I had faith in my team and that they will make it all the way up. The reason we found it to be successful is because it gave us an idea of how much helium is needed. We used a full tank of helium, a 300 pound um, tank of helium, and um, it was not enough helium for a 2,000 gram balloon. Today's event was extremely important for all of the students involved in this project so they could showcase to the rest of the student body here at Stahl what they've been working on for so long. But for the ESOL students involved in this project, it's even more important because it was an opportunity to show the rest of the Spanish-speaking community around here that no matter what your first language is and no matter where you come from, you can accomplish your goals and dreams. I know it's hard, but you got to know that in life things are going to be hard, especially when you're um, Latino or Hispanic. Things are going to be hard for us even more. but. Like we've done here, me and Ms. Royal, we've made through, we've been through a lot worse and, and every time it keeps getting better and better. It's seeing that they're able to see that aha moment of where they're headed to in their lives and how this is helping them transition into a positive thing and the impact that they're making. I don't think that a lot of our underrepresented schools get those same opportunities. And so when Maria came um, and her energy was there, um, it just seemed like a way to boost um, the confidence in some of these underrepresented students that they could do science and engineering.
This project is also informing their community about the historical event that's set to take place in a few months and how it needs to be observed safely. You can go out to see it. There are so many activities and so many ways, even within families, that they can do with children how to safely watch a solar eclipse. I'm pretty nervous about it, but it's normal for this kind of event. It's really big and yeah, it's either um, launch or fail. Despite the challenges of time, cost and manpower, Team Stall continues to press on. They are set for another tethered launch later this month at Riley Park in downtown Charleston. That's the site they will launch from on August 21st. In North Charleston, for the stories of CCSD, I'm Andy Pruitt.